Welcome to quarter one for 2019's Excess Select Guarded Fund of Funds portfolio commentary. To remind everybody, the five underlying asset managers within this fund are Coronation, Fuert, Prudential, Allen Gray and Tequanta. In terms of the underlying asset allocation of the portfolio as at quarter end, it had exposure of 21% to domestic equities, 7% to the domestic property market, 45% in a combination of cash and fixed interest, 18% direct foreign equities, 1% of direct foreign listed property and 8% of foreign fixed interest or bonds. So collectively, this then gives the portfolio 27% direct foreign exposure. In addition to that, 12% of RAND hedge stock exposure, giving the portfolio about 40% offshore exposure. And then 61% of the fund is exposed to South African asset classes of equities, bonds, cash and property. In terms of the top 10 equity holdings within the portfolio, Naspers, Standard Bank and Sassol would be the key biggest equity holdings. In terms of returns over quarter one, the fund was up 5% for the quarter relative to the peer group of 4% and this represents a strong performance for quarter one. In terms of the one-year figure, the fund is up 6.7%, exactly in line with peer group over the last 12 months. If we go and look at who were the underlying asset managers who performed well in the first quarter of 2019, the top performing fund was the Coronation Balanced Defensive Fund. This was followed by the Ned Group Stable Fund managed by Fuert followed by Prudential Inflation Plus, then Allen Gray Stable, and finally the passive portion of the core guarded fund managed by Tequanta. In terms of some of the positive contributors over this quarter, first of all, it was the fund's offshore allocation. Both offshore asset classes performed really, really well and strongly over that first quarter of the year, with U.S. equities up over 13% for the quarter. This added to the fund's offshore performance contribution. Locally also, the RAND hedge stocks performed particularly well, with British American Tobacco up 30%, BHP Billiton up 22%, Naspers up 19%, and Richmond up 12%, all performing strongly. Finally, the R186 government bond rallied 10 basis points on the final trading day as the bond market enjoyed a late uptick on the back of Moody's decision not to review South Africa's sovereign credit rating. This helped push the bond market up over the last few days and hence also contributed nicely to performance. So overall, it was a strong start to the year for the first quarter and we hope it continues going into the future.